Welcome to Right on the Money, the weekly talk show with interviews you can use to help you maximize your money and optimize your financial future. Before moving forward with any of the ideas discussed on the show, always consult your financial advisor, insurance professional, or tax consultant. Looking for financial help or a second opinion? We can help you in your search. And now, your host of Right on the Money, syndicated financial columnist and money color commentator, Steve Savant. Well, welcome everyone to another series on retirement advice from some of the top retirement specialists in the country. In this segment, we're talking to retirement specialist, J.D. Mayotte. J.D., you've been in the business a long time, 36 years. I actually, actually, you're more than I have, so I have to bow to your veteranship, right? Uh, welcome to the show. I wanted to, you're an investment, a registered investment advisor. You've also been a series seven and 24, so you've done some oversight over your years too yes, as well. Yep. You've seen it a lot. How much has our changes. industry changed? Oh, it's dramatic. It's so dramatic. It's unbelievable. I mean, we used to trade on 5% spreads and now we trade for a penny. So How can I'm I make money on that? Yeah, it's pretty tough. You have to tra <laughs> trade a lot of volume. Well, I'm wondering, do you think, because we're talking today about a topic that's dear to my heart and I know it's one of your areas of expertise. You're trying to match financial products to risks during retirement. And I think it's difficult. I think it's extremely difficult, particularly when you're in a 1% environment. And, you know, I mean, really, when you're in the retirement mode, uh, you know, in the red zone, you know, five years before, five years into it, I mean, really, what you're trying to do is maximize whatever your rate of return is with less and less risk. Um, you know, there's always been formulas, you know, burn down 4% of your retirement mm -hmm. per year. Now that's been adjusted down to 25 to 3%. It's, it's below 3 now. Yeah, it's below 3 And um, Can I just stop you there? So, so our, we're saying that our stock dividend, if I'm hearing correctly, stock dividends and our bond interest is not generating 4%. No, not even remotely close, without risk. Without okay, without risk. risk. Okay. Well, I mean, put in perspective, you want to buy a... Uh, you want to buy the safest product in the world, okay? Mm -hmm. And you want no risk. You don't want to lose another dime of your money. So you want to turn to the U.S. government, let's say. And so you want to buy a 10-year uh, treasury. treasury. Right. 1.7% today, 1.8 maybe. And then you're paying taxes on top of that. So mm -hmm. let's say you're in a 30% tax bracket. I mean, mm -hmm. what's going to happen there, right? So you're going to net out 1.2%. Mm -hmm. Inflation's running at 2%. So you're actually going backwards. I might as well be in Europe. And a yeah, checking account. Yeah, right? exactly, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Okay, let's talk about this because uh, you know, I, I, you know, all retirees have guaranteed expenses. I can't get around it. I, I may, I still have utility bills to pay, my food. I still have property taxes, even if I don't have a mortgage. Sure. I still have guaranteed bills to pay. Medicare. Is there ways to match up my portfolio? Yeah. That ha that can pay at least my floor issues of guaranteed expense loads. Sure. I mean, we have, you know, we have immediate annuities. I mm -hmm. mean, um, it, a lot of people have been taken back by annuities because of the 40s and the 50s where the insurance mm -hmm. company died and the insurance company took all your money, blah, blah, blah. And so mm -hmm. a lot of people are upset about it. But there's a whole new wave of annuities out there. Mm -hmm. um, and it's uh, if you have a, sp a really specific fixed income, like you mentioned, you got mm -hmm. your utilities, you got your Medicare, uh, your fixed costs. You can do an immediate annuity. That's one solution mm -hmm. for it, um, and backed by the obviously by the backing of the insurance company. Mm -hmm. So we use only well-rated companies. Um, a lot of people don't realize, but annuity money is protected inside of the insurance company, mm -hmm. um, and they have to actually set aside money. So they're reserving. They're reserving okay. against it. So even when an insurance company should go under, which doesn't happen very often, banks go under much more often mm -hmm. than insurance companies. Uh, the first asset when another company insurance carrier comes to buy that asset is they want the annuity business mm -hmm. because they know the reserves are set aside. So, so that's a good thing. It's a really good thing. It's a really good thing, particularly now, for the consumers in I, today's well, I, market. Well, I'm just thinking in my head, you know, uh, my goal as a boomer, I want to be out of my mortgage. I don't want to be paying a mortgage. Sure. And I know I'm going to have Social Security for myself and Social Security for my wife. So I got that sure. income, and that's guaranteed for my life. Right. So if I input, like you're suggesting, an immediate annuity or maybe a deferred income annuity, uh -huh. depending upon which one, yeah. that's going to be, I could get a lifetime guarantee for that. Absolutely. And right now, there's some of the products out there paying a 7%. Payout uh, rate. Payout rate. Mm -hmm. And, um, you know, you can get, uh, you, say you put 100000 in today, you can get an income stream that's growing at a 7% mm -hmm. growth rate. Mm -hmm. So it's a 10-year walk away from the product. So at the end of 10 years, your money... Look, interest rates are not going to jump back mm -hmm. to 7 8%. It's, it's not going to happen. In our lifetime. Not no. probably right. in our lifetime. Right. 
And as they raise rates, the, the feds are always very cautious mm -hmm. because the higher they raise them, the more people they put into bankruptcy. And mm -hmm. it's a very simple math equation mm -hmm. because a lot of the mortgages today are tied into treasury bills or they're mm -hmm. tied in 11th district costs and they're adjusting with, with rates. So as you adjust rates up, people, their mortgages, they, they increases their mortgage ratio. And so all of a sudden they can't make their payment any longer. It, and that's part of the reason why the feds have been holding a lot of this interest rates down in our opinion is because they can't mm -hmm. force another 4 million houses into bankruptcy, so. Can I extrapolate from that that I still might have corporate and municipal bond exposure in the market then? Sure, sure, because right now you go replace your, almost all the bonds that were issued in the last 12, 15 years have all been called back. Mm -hmm. So if you had municipal bonds that were paying five, six, seven percent, it's gone. Yeah. They're, they're calling them in. I get, I get a half a million to a million dollars worth of bonds called every month in my portfolios. Mm. And so I have to replace those. Well, I'm replacing them at two and a half and three percent. And we all know that mm -hmm. municipals go bankrupt too. And there's been quite a few. I mean, how about Stockton, California, mm -hmm. I mean, right? Right. Um, oh, we can go on, there's been many others. San Diego mm -hmm. pension plan. I mean, a lot of that stuff is taking place today <clears throat> and it's not gonna change. And when you're in this type of an environment, even as the feds start to raise rates, they're only gonna increase them at a quarter or a half a point mm -hmm. at a time. We're talking eight, nine, 10 years until we're back up to four or 5% mm -hmm. at that ratio. And they're not going to do it. Mm -hmm. They're just not going to do it. So, so what does an old guy do that's on fixed income? Mm -hmm. um, annuities are truly an answer mm -hmm. uh, in today's marketplace, particularly with the income streams that can be created from just annuities. And they're safe. And mm -hmm. again, they have reserves. They're back. They're protected. They're, you know. Well, even when I think about going back to my original premise, which is, hey, listen, I need to cover my guaranteed expense loads that I'm going to have during retirement. Right. Social Security, backed by the government. Lifetime income, backed by a highly rated, right. good balance sheet item. And yeah. again, uh, people say, if you say, Steve, I'm looking at annuities right now and you want to write me at steve at uh, writeonthemoneyshow.com, I'll not only send you the ratings, but I'll send you the four-page balance sheet and let your CPA look at it. Yeah, uh, Happy to do so. Yeah. Um, all right, so, so we're using annuities to kind of counterman this low interest rate environment. Sure, right, and it's a time factor. I mean, yeah. when you're retired at 65, 66, theoretically, you're going to be on the planet mm -hmm. for another 20, 25 years. So how do you, where are you going to justify your income? How do you make anything in this marketplace today without risk? It's hard. Yeah. Uh, I was looking at, uh, I don't know if you know this, but old Susanna just died at 116. She died last yeah. May 2016. Yeah. 160. I mean, I can't even conceive of living that long. No. We have 72,000 <clears> centurions in America right now. So and, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, and the population is going to keep doing that. There's people being born today mm. through the actuarial numbers that will live to be 115, 117. Not one or two people. A lot of people. You know, we're keeping well, people alive through technology and through mm -hmm. health, you know, consciousness and all that sort of thing. So that's a long, long, long time on a fixed income and. You know, the other thing that people have to be aware of uh, is you can your Social Security benefits can actually get eaten up if you have other assets that you're you're mm -hmm. taking out of your portfolio and you offset your uh, income, well, and I you did. can shrink that. I mean, everybody thinks Social Security is there, but if you have other mm -hmm. assets, you might not get a Social Security check. They can take up to eighty percent of your of your money on Social Security. Well, JD, I'm sorry, I want to bring up, but that's painful enough. Yeah, I they just told me about the new bump in 2017, the new cola. Yeah. What five bucks a month? Yeah, the, the Social Security used to be like clockwork. I could depend right. on an increase. Right. The last three to six years, I haven't had none, anything. nothing. So, no. I could put a little bit of a increase on this guaranteed annuity, could I? Absolutely. So I could have a little bit of a bump every year. Absolutely. Absolutely. So what if I was Guinness Book of World Records, Jean Clement, she lived 122 years, 164 days. Guaranteed lifetime annuity, pays all the way out. Well, she would be a winner, wouldn't she? She oh, and Anytime past 80, 80 age 80, she's yeah. taking it to the she, bank. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> it's all hers. So, yeah. so when you're looking at it, you know, you've been, you've been in this business, so you deal with securities, you deal with annuities, you deal with all kinds of, I mean, private everyone, placements, private placements, public companies, 61 public offerings we've done for boomers that are concerned about their money. I just told right. you, I confess, I can't take another hit after 2008. Right. I can't. Right. What is the game plan for people who now have a risk tolerance of pretty much zero? Well, first thing we look at is what, you know, how much are they going to need? And then we mm -hmm. start working on a scale to risk. So we still have to have a proportion in risk mm -hmm. uh, just to offset what's going on. Mm -hmm. But, you know, annuities, the strategy of annuities anymore has mm -hmm. really become a marketplace product. Um, if you're watching the numbers on the, look, for example, on the indexed annuities, uh, the sales continue to decrease by the billions every mm -hmm. year because it's one of the last solutions. It mm -hmm. really is for conservative. I have clients all the time say to me, J.D., 
I don't care if you make me any more money. We've been working with you for 30 years, but do me a favor. Do not lose one more dime. Mm -hmm. I cannot afford to take any more hits. And the boomers, unfortunately, they just came through in 14 years, took took two massive hits on the Mm -hmm. downside. Um, And what we like about index annuities in particular is your money's not in the market. We just use the indexes, different indexes, Mm -hmm. to qualify what your earnings are for that year. So it gives you an opportunity, and zero is our hero. Mm -hmm. Maybe the market goes down a lot in one year. Maybe it just drops to zero. The thing is, with your annuity, you're, you ratchet up and you're locked in on your gains. So it's, it's, a, it's a good product for the time. Mm-hmm. Wow. Well, listen, that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank everyone that has been watching our show. But before I go, remember what the good Reverend John Wesley once said. Make all you can, give all you can, save all you can. I'm Steve Savant. We'll see you next week right here on Right on the Money. For more information on this week's money topics, just go to our website at www.rightonthemoneyshow.com and follow Steve's daily postings on Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. When it comes to retirement, money management, small business, insurance coverage, college funding, or budgeting, we have the interviews you can use.